Welcome back, Gearheads. Today we chat with some developers of VTime, the head of marketing, VTime Julian, and the head of public relations, VTime Vicky. And Shower One came out on the Gear VR. Check it out! First time that her eyeballs rolled up, I felt speed. Uh, I got a bunch of these exploits. Let's speed, let's speed this up. Boom. Glad they developed something like this, man. We need this. And the Oasis is a virtual reality world that that has everybody connected to it all over the planet. I am Korea. So first off, I'd just like to say that I lost all of the audio of my voice while giving this interview. My editing software was having a problem. It was crashing every five minutes. I figured that out. But in the meantime, I lost all my audio for some reason. It deleted it, and deleted the file on the computer, so I no longer had it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be popping in and out uh, with my face right now, asking the questions that I asked before. So, and then you will get the responses. So the first question most people have is, how do you know you're talking with a developer on VTime? Well, usually their name will pop up. It'll say VTime so and so. Like for example, in this episode, VTime Julian or VTime Vicky. That's how you're going to know you're talking to. A developer. Not to be confused with B Time Social, which is going to be Mike Kessler, uh, Kyle's, Stu, uh, quite a few others that run the Facebook social community. Those guys are different, they're not the developers, but they are awesome to talk to, so chat them up. The developers don't always just pop in with their credentials flashing. Here's an experience that Mark from VR has. They all come in with different, with different avatars and different names all the time. So it's like, I was having a whole conversation with B-Time Jim without knowing it was him. He's like, dude, I'm B-Time Jim. Like, oh, oh, I should have recognized your voice. Wait, I'd recognize him. <laughs> like, how, how am I supposed to know that? <laughs> Luckily, I didn't, say, I didn't say anything bad or, you know, sometimes I'm talking on here with Elvis and, or, and, you know, Stephanie. I'm like, oh my God, thank God it was one of those B-Time After Dark conversations. So I talked briefly with B-Time Julian, the head of marketing of B-Time. Here's what he had to say. What's up, what's up, Nate? This is Nate Miller. And he's... Oh, hey! Hey! Nice to meet you in V... Nice to meet you in real V time rather than on the video, man. <laughs> yeah, cool. We've been watching your videos in the office with great interest. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Putting aside, all of you guys also do a really good job because you know, I'm, I'm in charge of marketing VTime, and you've given me the easiest answer in the world. And when, when, when people say to me, when, when people say to me, why is VTime better than, than the other system? My answer is, go search Reddit, Twitter, and Facebook, which I don't control, and see what the other users say about it. So, listen guys, I can't thank you enough. You've given me the easiest job in the world over here. Well, if you ever, if you ever need an assistant, I'm available. Uh, well, don't worry. You, listen, you might regret saying that, mate. Trust me. <laughs> you, you may well regret it. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm deadly serious. You really have made my job super easy. Uh, okay. You know, because the, the best thing in the world is when other people say stuff about your product, and because uh, of course, of course, I'm going to say it's great, aren't I? Uh, so um, it's much easier when I direct people on to. Uh, what I term old-fashioned social media, um, and uh, and they they go on there and uh, and see what all you guys have to say about it. But it's it's just fantastic, and just keep encouraging everybody to keep giving us their feedback. We listen to everything. We hopefully try and answer everything. You know, we uh, we're super keen to keep in touch with everybody and uh, try and sort everything out. Okay. It's it's really why we re it's why we released it so early because um, I'm I'm a really lazy marketing guy and I believe the easiest thing to sell is something somebody wants so it just seemed obvious to me to ask everybody what they wanted rather than us trying to sort of dream it up and uh, right. just put it out there. Vitab Julian wanted to go and make the rounds to talk to as many people as possible so he jumped out of there. But luckily I was able to catch up with Vitab and Vicky. Yeah, Hi! And we have to have patience as well. I'm good, how are you doing? I know you! You make the videos! <laughs> yeah, I, I retweet your videos! 
<laughs> You're doing a great job. It's great to meet you. Yeah, I, I, we, we love watching your videos in the studio. The um, yeah, the little um, the little things you had with the with the grandma that they really made me giggle. And the guy um, who was rapping and. Uh, uh, like close to the edge when he got on the edge that was hilarious it was brilliant <laughs> yeah I was in Texas last week visiting my niece with my daughter oh really when I was on the airplane everyone thought I was a freak they had no idea what I was wearing some, some old ladies behind me tapped me on the shoulder while I was <laughs> on in virtual reality they're like what are you doing what is that I, I didn't even <laughs> think to ask them you know are you epileptic I just put it on them and they're like oh my god <laughs> and this is Doublehead rapping on the edge. Miguel Round, I'm the new fool in town. And my mouth's <laughs> laid down by the underground. I drink up all the Hennessy you got on your shelf. So just let me introduce myself. My name is Humpty. If you want to see more of that episode, I've left the link in the description below. Now Vita Vicky meets the queen of Vita. Yeah. <laughs> the queen of Vita. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. I would have... I would have curtsied or something if I'd have known. <laughs> and if you've spoken to Paul Hollywood, but that, that's his favourite thing that's ever happened in the time. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And we, we've also had news this week that um, two people met each other B time and they're now dating in real life, which is great. It's happening. <laughs> we're, we're having transatlantic relationships founded in B time. Um, what, what, like, you, you guys obviously spend a lot of time in B time. Um, what what else what else could we add that you'd like to do? Steffi's bakery. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm the queen of V time. Did you make the snake? Did you make Yeah, the, I made the, the snake. Oh, okay. I okay. I I was the person who asked if I could share it. Yeah, I could, yeah, yeah. Oh right, okay, we finally yeah. get to meet each other. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Vicky if they named the animals while they were developing these times. We, we, did, we did not name them, actually. Um, I think, I can't remember what the, the polar bear was called something for a little bit by some guys in the studio, but you, you guys have ownership of the naming of the animals, and we've all started to call them your names in the studio, so... I'm like go, going through all your sadness when, uh, when like the owl, <laughs> the owl was let out by mistake when we updated, but we quickly <laughs> tried to sort that out. <laughs> we were pretty upset about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't <can> tell. <laughs> Never take away my Bubba. <laughs> is he, is he... Oh, I still miss the spider, the tarantula. I miss the spiders actually. I, I did, there was there's quite a few stuff in the um, in the early builds that we have which is not there now. Um, I think we're going to bring some of it back. But yeah, the gallery that's coming soon that's pretty awesome. And you guys are going to love the, the screening room um, where you'll like sit together and watch videos um, from your phone. Oh, and you nice. can show videos of your your can we do like stuff. Um, I didn't, initially it won't be streaming, it'll yeah. be um, user generated content, so the videos that you have on, on your device you'll be able to share. Oh, okay. And so, yeah, so soon we're also going to be joined by uh, all the Rift users and the Vive users, and then, I don't know if you saw the other day, we've we're, we're just been announced as PSVR developers, so yeah, by, by the end of the year there's going to be like five, five different platforms all using VTime together. Then I asked, it's pretty ambitious to bring this all together cross-platform. How has it been to bring this all together? Um, it's quite hard. <laughs> we, we do a lot of late nights in the studio, but um, a lot of the guys um, like Hollywood and people that you would have met before, they all um, come from a console development background. They all made loads of PlayStation games. So uh, games, I don't know if you like racing games like MotorStorm, um, Drive Club, uh, WRC games like that. They they those made they made all those and then they left Sony and they now work for for V Time. So they're using all the same talent to do the same uh, to do this. Thank you very much. It's really it's like we love watching the uh, the V Time social community. It's just it's a dream come true. <laughs> and it was really great to see that Mike got quoted in a the CNET feature. Um, they did. That was amazing. Yeah, and we had some really good user feedback on this. Mike wrote and said, I've been speaking with people throughout the globe on VTime since January. It's oh. definitely the best virtual social experience. Wow, cool to have so a first person experience. You can see his avatar, like producer Logan, bring up his uh, his tweet again. You can see his avatar is literally 
him in real life and him in V time. Wow, it does look similar. So he's look got a little, that. he's got a, his little avatar up, and then Daniel wrote awesome. in and. My suggestion was, I thought it'd be funny, for example, if we were in space, that a huge meteor came out of the sky and crashed into the earth, causing like a mass extinction event. Something that everyone watching would be like, "Whoa, what just happened?" about putting in <laughs> like a uh, events that happen about uh, for one in every 10,000 uses or something um so like eight on in the executive yeah. yeah um the pilot just suddenly like jumps up and jumps out the plane or something but it happens so rarely that you have to be on it all the time to see it which you would see it <laughs> you're the queen <laughs> <laughs> you would definitely see all of it <laughs> <laughs> some of my favorite things that's happened in VR have just been from the V Time users. Well, in, I mean, in this in this little in this room right now, like my my two favorite things that I've posted on social media, your videos and your snake from the other day. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> Boba in real life form. Yeah, I work in a bakery. Oh right, okay, cool. Um, ah, so all the, all the nice pictures of the tasty looking treats are all are all you. I told Stephanie to make a cookie cake and send it to my house and then I would eat it and then I'd record it and put it on in a future episode of E-Time. These are the kind of fan videos that we need. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> we need fake goods to be posted across the country <laughs> and someone else can be filmed eating them. <laughs> so what gave you guys the idea to make something like E-Time? Well, we first, first of all, we, we knew we wanted to work in virtual reality, and at first we were making um, an app called Cybercook. Um, so we decided to make that into a, a VR application. So it's still on the store in concept now. Cybercook Taster was the first thing that we made, which is a virtual cooking app. I don't know if you played it. Um, you get to make a, a full stir fry. But yeah, so that, that was the first thing that we did. And then while we were doing that, um, we started to think of all the different things that we could do that would put all of the team's skill set uh, to work. And we brainstormed for ages, and initially we were thinking of like a, a kind of board game scenario, but it ended up being this. We started to spend more and more time on the social, and in the end decided to make a, a sociable network. Um, so yeah, it, it kind of came about, it came about a bit by accident at the start, but um, it just felt really right. And all the environments that we were creating, and. Um, yeah, it's, it's just just like it was what we always set out to do, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so when we were making the the cybercook taster, it just we just started to think that it'd be more fun if there were more people in the kitchen. So our early demos are based in a kitchen, um, so it's quite different from the V time that you see now. But we'll we'll definitely have to release the video so you can see what it looked like when we were thinking about it, because it looks completely different. Yeah, I'll tr I'll dig out those videos so you guys can see them. Um, well, again, it was lovely to talk to you guys, um, and I'll, I'll see you on Facebook soon, I'm sure, and I'll see another one of your videos soon. Hey. No problem. I'm going to be in it. Oh my god, amazing. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> cool, I'll see you guys soon. I'm impressed with just how grateful the developers are to the fans of VTime, and for the founding members of the VTime social community. If you'd like to join, go into Facebook and type in V time social community and join up and talk with lots of users uh, outside of V time. Sometimes you like to go on there and you like to say, "Hey, I'm getting on in 15 minutes. Anyone would like to join?" And then you'll have people hop in right away. So it's a good it's and you can connect while you're not on V time. A lot of times your phone overheats. A lot of time something else happens where we have to hop off. And we can always check in and post a little something something to everybody. But most important of all, don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting videos twice a week with all sorts of VR content. What kind of questions would you like me to ask on the next episode of V-Time Interviews? Thank you for watching. See you later.